Ah, man. My doubts are blasted. I wish they had a chart for how much protein powder to scoop for a 180-pound man with no fat. Protein powder, huh? You cut it with water? Why don't you just take estrogen? <coughs> there you go, boys. See how Papa takes care of you? Mm. <laughs> I remember when people thought biceps were all that. They'd flex them all night at the discotheque. Oh, I bet you think it's all about core, huh? Yeah. Oh, core is critical. There are four tenets of Pilates that I live my life by. One, lengthen. Two, elongate. Listen, guys, I think we all want to know the same thing, right? Who's the strongest? Well, there's only one way to solve that. Thigh curl contest. All right, here we go, everybody. May the manliest man win. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Feast on this, Lewis! Oh, yeah. I love the burn! The burn is where I live! Come on, Gabe, you can't handle his hamstrings! You're getting hypnothized! Speed set! One! One! Two! Three. Here, this is for your elbows, for your elbows! Oh, thank you! You're thank welcome! You. Five! Six! Quick phone call from you guys, keep going! Eight! Nine! Ten! We got it? Very funny, Jim. Yeah, Jim. Way to mock us for perfecting our bodies. Everyone, conference room, now. All right. I see there, Grandpa. Okay, I don't need your help. Okay. You don't need your help? Here. Just... Ah, I've been attacked! Oh, my God! Ah, oh, someone put a porcupine in my drawer! Oh, my God. Yeah, I was just sitting here on my desk. And I, I reached into my drawer to grab my toothbrush and, and some tooth powder, and, and, and all, all of a sudden I was attacked by this bloodthirsty, rabid creature. I wonder, in this office, who has access to a porcupine? Or who in this office knows that I have access and is trying to set me up? Hmm. You know, this sounds a lot like the premise of my latest Chad Flenderman novel, A Murder for Framing. Chad Flenderman, just an easygoing black guy who knows the streets, yet he also went to Oxford. So, just as comfortable on a motorcycle as he is on Air Force One. Oh, and he's also the world's leading Egyptologist. Toby, nobody cares about your sex-crazed black detective. No, 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 no. Women chase him. He, he misses his wife. Hello, lacerated hand here, folks. Nice try. This is ridiculous. Oh, is it really? Two separate times, you have set me up to believe that I was being recruited by the CIA. Three times. <laughs> you see? Jim, this has your fingerprints all over it. Andy, you gotta be kidding me. Fingerprints can be planted, you know, with a severed hand. Do you think that's what happened? Do you think you used a severed hand? Okay. You know what? Why don't we just call animal control? You might want to run that by Angela, because it's so cute. No. Porcupines don't have souls. They're like dogs. Yes, I'm calling from Dunder Mifflin. We have a very rabid porcupine in our office. Someone should come pick it up. Come down right away! Uh, I don't know. Let me ask. Uh, were you quilled? Yes, I was quilled. And what's his name? Henrietta. Oh. What? Oh, I mean, I... All right. Get her out of here, Dwight. What was up with Pam being all pushy and negative in there? I think she just didn't want a crucifix cake. It scares me to see you going down a road that I went down. Am I going down a road? When I see her bossing you around like that, it just makes me wonder if this thing really has the legs to go the distance. It's so scary how right the things you're saying are. And you're coming at it with almost no knowledge, so of course I trust your opinion on this. I know a few things about love. Horrible, terrible, awful, awful things. I was gonna use today to purge my inbox, but now something much more pressing has come up. Hey, Andy. You know, I've been thinking about what you said. Noish. I just don't know if I can do it. That's interesting because what I hear you saying is that you do want to do it, which means you can do it. Believe me, I broke up with Angela and I'm like the happiest guy ever. I mean, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like total freedom, you know? It's just that Pam gets me through the day, you know? I really hmm. rely on her. I'm pretty emotionally needy. And you know what? I am here for you. Let me be your traveling pants. Oh, what did you do that for? 
<laughs> you know what I was doing. Yeah, totally. Okay. Hey, Jim. I just totally blew a sales call. Bro, I do that all the time. Yeah, well, with you it's different, okay? Because I just... I just suck. I just... I suck! Tuna, be nice to my friend Jim, okay? Why? When I look in the mirror, I don't like the face that looks back. Well, so what? Your body's a 10. Just forget it. Jim! I said forget it! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, God. Okay, Tuna. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. Excuse me, can I have your attention, everyone? Here's the deal, everybody. Jim Halpert is very upset and disturbed. I don't know if it was something you did, something you said, a look you gave him. Maybe it was nothing at all. But here's the deal, okay? It stops now. I guess I could be nicer. Andy, I think Jim is messing with you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. If you don't want to teach me PowerPoint, just say so. I don't want to teach you PowerPoint. Come on, just show me the PowerPoint. Just do the tutorial. You're the tutorial. No, dude, I'm not. I'm not the tutorial. You could be. Mm -mm. What are you doing? Get my wife a week off from work. You popped one kernel. Awesome, right? So Creed is that dude's stepdad? Correct. Well. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm nervous. I have no idea what health problems this is all gonna cause. What? This is just like oh, oh, no, I'm getting older. I'm sorry. I'm losing my hair. A third arm. I know what Jim is trying to do. He's trying to get Big Bad Dwight to shell out for a huge repair job while Lucky Jimbo gets a paid vacation. Well, sorry, Lucky Jimbo. I can live very happily in a magnetic field. Most of my childhood heroes got their powers that way. Side effects of EMF include headaches. Had them all my life. Rest pain? No nobbies, no probbies. Nice try, Jim. Oof, infertility. <sighs> yeah, right. Ah, there's my popcorn. Can you just grab that for me? Keep your snacks on your side, Jim, idiot. What the? Some of these kernels have crowned. That's impossible, because that's a brand new bag. Oh my god. Andy! Well, thanks, will do. Absolutely. Now, when you get down there, Joe's a little bit uh, forgetful, so she may have locked the gate, but what you're gonna do is go ahead, hop it, and just head back to the pool. That sounds weird. It is weird. Look at you, perceptive. Now I know why Joe's kept her eye on you. <laughs> and you make sure to get down there, check out the Harry Potter world. And whatever you want to do in your spare time is up to you. Harry Potter world is supposed to be fantastic. Apparently, as soon as corporate found out I wanted to come in off the road, Joe offered me a cushy new job in Tallahassee. And here's the best part. I'm a huge alligator nerd. I can name you every genus, every subspecies. Also, I'm a huge boob nerd. Check it out and have a free butter beer on us. Keep the receipt and we'll get you back. What well, are you doing? This, uh, all right, right. So just pack Very your bags. important client. And uh, be sure to bring those swimming trunks. Bye now. Bye. I cannot believe this. You're sending Packer to Florida? Why? You He's gave him my desk. Okay, so you're tricking him into flying to Florida. This wasn't my first choice. Jim had so many better ideas. You have to tell him. You have to tell him what you did. No, 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 no. That, that is not in the plan. That is actually anti what we're doing. He is my oldest friend. I am going to tell him. Wait, why don't we come up with a plan that we're all happy about? Yeah, that... Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh-huh. Yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about...
10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Like clockwork. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh oh. Why oh, so funny? You had to be there. Oh, okay. Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. <laughs> what is this? What happened here? I don't know. Oh, this does not look good. Did anyone see what happened around my desk area this morning? Dwight, I really think someone's probably just playing a prank on you, so just go right through it. A prank, huh? This is official police line tape, okay? <laughs> It's not a prank. Probably is. Damn it, people! Someone must have seen something! Oh, you people are useless. Jesus. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hold, please. Dwight, it's the sheriff. He said that it's really important it's regarding your desk. I'll transfer. Oh, no, no, don't! Can I... I can't it. Mmm. <sighs> Just cut through it, man. It's no big deal. Wow, man, he really wants to get in touch with you. Maybe it's a murder. No, there's no blood. Maybe poison? Possibly. My God. <sighs> no, Jim, no! Gah. Sheriff, this is Dwight Schrute. Press the pound key. What's your 20? This is slander, Ms. Black. Slander, I say. I dare you to produce one credible source about this. Well, as it happens, we have with us the foreman of your upstate New York paper mill, Sandra Mick. Sandra Mick. Good afternoon, Iris. It's a pleasure. I'll get straight to the point. Is your paper toxic? No, the paper's not toxic. Thank you, Sandra. Unless it's exposed to oxygen. Then it becomes extremely toxic. Do not listen to her. This employee is obviously disgruntled. What the heck is going on? The stock price listen, is plummeting. The are you going to get control of the message, or do I have to send in someone who understands the meaning? Get out of here, moron! Hey! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dwight, who are you talking to? Uh, no one. Did you just call Miss Mick a moron? No, everything's fine. Are you insulting my guests? <sighs> the fallout from this morning's revelation continues to mount. Since Mr. Dwight Schrute began speaking, Dunder Mifflin's share prices fell 73%. Mr. Schrute, shareholders demand accountability from corporate leadership. Can we announce your resignation at this time? My resignation? What are you talking about? No, I'm just following orders. Listen, the person responsible for this catastrophe is the CEO and chairman, David Wallace. What is this thing you just sent me? Oh, it's really cool. It's a picture of the most relaxing meadow you've ever seen. Idiot. I know what this is. It's supposed to lull me into a sense of calm, and then a ghoul pops up and scares me. Why would I do that? Dwight, of all people, I know that you're unscarable. Damn right I am. Oh, hello, relaxing meadow. I'm so relaxed and calm looking at you right now. Oh, no, a scary ghoul just popped up. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Really? Is this the best you could... Jim? How are you? Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That is the best I can do. Morning, Dwight. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. Weird joke, Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey, hats off to you for not seeing race. All right then, Jim. Uh, why don't you tell me about that sale that you made yesterday? 
uh, Wellington Systems sold them 10 cases of 24 pound letter stock. Or were you talking about Krieger Murphy because I didn't close that one yet, but I'm hoping I've got a voicemail from Paul Krieger waiting for me. Please enter your password. You have one new message. How did you? No, 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 no. That is sensitive information only for employees, not outsiders. Dwight, cut it out. I'm trying to work. You don't work here. You're not Jim. Jim, I got us that dinner reservation. Greek goes 7.30. Oh, great. Can't wait. Mm. Jim's at the dentist this morning, and Steve is an actor friend of ours. I don't know who you are, but you are not Jim. This is Jim. Um. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, how did... Oh.